Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 528. I'm your host, Roman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So first up is new G5 My Little Pony Cake and Cupcake hit Germany. Do you have a sweet tooth? Uh, live in Germany? And enjoy pony? <laughs> Apparently they are offering cake and cake accessories over at Germany's website. Sorry, over at German website, uh, de. I hope I got that right. They have both cupcakes and regular cakes, along with a variety of flavors translated by the submitter. Uh, and along with a variety of cupcakes, including chocolate, lemon chocolate chip, apple, cinnamon, and blueberry. Go try them out and see what you think. So I click on the site just to take a look, see and whatnot. And yep, it's a cake shop that sells pony products. And I I got no idea how big the company is, but judging by the website and judging by the pricing, they're well-known and pretty expensive. Because, like, okay, um, if we do a breakdown, a normal cake like this is about 40 euros. Something like this with a mini fig, no, not a mini fig, that is a brushable. Sorry, yeah, um, with a brushable will cost you about 43 euros. And this one is a 53 euro. I'm not 100% sure why the Price no size all right size, so <clears throat> yeah you you got your standard uh, print on the, one of these cakes like the decoration here it's not painted but it's like printed on like they, they use some kind of material they put it on the cake and they print it something like that uh, same goes for the cupcakes and whatnot but yeah uh, looking at what they have for flavor yeah okay looking at what flavor they have uh, chocolate cake plus chocolate fudge so I'm just thinking okay so those are the two options are uh, clicking here we can uh, th- get another gander of what they have I don't speak German so I got no idea so I'm guessing this is the cupcake so uh, submitter says that were um, <clears throat> uh, sorry chocolate and chocolate fudge uh, cherry cream, raspberry cream, lemon cream, vanilla cake with nut nougat cream. I think those are all listed here. Or, sorry, um, all listed here. Okay, that's cool. And then we got the cupcakes. We, we got the what? Uh, chocolate lemon, chocolate chip, apple cinnamon, and blueberry. So, yeah, I, I'm guessing you can already tell which one is which. And these are the cakes and whatnot. Alright, cool. Um, can't say much. I don't live in Germany. But if you do enjoy cake, this is something that uh, you could try out. And to be honest, I had a conversation with a friend. Uh, just, just randomly saying something like, You know, I could really go for some cake. Like, uh, I feel like eating a cake. Some kind of just cake. But the prices of cake here right now is a bit ridiculous. And okay, they're, they're huge. They're, they're not that small. But it's it's about... How do you put this? 12 to 20 ringgit for a cake? And this is, this is just a slice, mind you. It's not even a um, whole cake. This is just a slice. And that is just, wow, that, that's a bit too much. But, I do have the cravings for cakes, so I, I might go buy some one day. Hmm. But yes, uh, if you do live in Germany and know of the place and want to get the cake, I, I suggest the cupcakes. The cupcakes looks nice. Uh, what was it again? Um, for a set of uh, nines, you can get uh, $30 for 9 cupcakes. 
Ooh, that is expensive. That is expensive. But yeah, there's something for you to consider. Anyway, let's move on to the next news. Next news is Pony Chat officially shutting down. Ah, yes. <clears throat> Another old school pony organization is shutting the sh- is shutting its doors today. If you are in the newer crowd, Pony Chan is an image board that helped provide refuge, uh, help provided refugees for everyone being banned on 4chan way back during the Earth, sorry, early pony purge that were going on in the early fandom. The pro- it provided a place for game makers to brainstorm ideas, project starters to run uh, grand events, and of course just general cartoon horse discussion. The domain is being saved and the site is archived, but outside of that it will no longer be accessible. <coughs> Hopefully the rest of us early titans of the pony fandom can keep surviving as we delve further into G5 and possibly G6. But it's rough for a website in 2023 with the dominance of social media. Let's remember all the good times over the years and celebrate the crazy amount of pony that we've fooled, uh, we flooded the internet with anyways. So, let's read this one. As some of you may have guessed from the downtime, Pony Chan is on its way out. We were planning on making a track to inform you guys, but the end date came sooner than expected. And if the server goes down for good, it's going to go on our own terms. Not our host. On January 7th, a week ago, Pony Chat will go down for good. Neither server nor domain are for sale, so don't bother asking. Pony Chat had a good run, but eventually it had to come to an end. Whew! <clears throat> Alright, so, to be honest with you guys, I didn't really. A peruse Pony Chan. I really didn't get the 4chan layout and format, so it was one of those websites that I didn't really. Um, um, how to put it? I didn't really grow up with, so I, I didn't really have an affinity for it. But with all the talk of retiring and whatnot, and uh, with the recent announcement from MatPat from Game Theory and the Theory Channel, uh, kind of stepping back from hosting and whatnot, it, it kind of hit hard with most content creators. Um, and as some of you may have noticed that, yeah, um, I haven't been uploading that much, I haven't been doing a lot of content, and some of you might have wondered, am I throwing in the towel and whatnot? To be honest, no, I'm not. Um, I still love this uh, fandom, I still love this show, and I want to keep doing it as long as I can. But, like I mentioned in a previous uh, housekeeping thing I did, is that news doesn't come too often, and how much, um, how, how, sorry, um, and with <coughs> sometimes uh, news or just topics about toys comes out. And, and in all honesty, I don't think I can talk much about toys without just saying, yeah, it looks good. Ooh, uh, from the, v- the look of it, it's kind of nice and whatnot. And just theorizing about what they cut out and whatnot without even buying and touching it and I think just talking about toys without really getting them and viewing them um, um, review, reviewing them 
it's like kind of just I, I really shouldn't talk about it so that's one topic I've been avoiding except for model figures like this this um, uh, if I'm not mistaken this is the uh, Funko mini vinyls this this were uh, vinyl figures of the pony characters that were shrunk down in size so those those I can talk and basically those are just model figures there is no articulation or anything like that and there's no brushables but what you see is what you get so i have confidence in talking about those things but with the hasbro product toys uh, I, I can't really say much so yeah uh, just to clarify the mbs show is still going even if it's going at a snail's pace and as for uh, Pony Chan, it is sad to hear some of the <laughs> titans of the space going away. I mean, we had a lot of websites or channels or whatever back in the days that have popped up, become grand and awesome and great, and took their leave. A good example was Everfree Radio. Anybody remember those guys? Those guys were a pony media aggregate where a lot of pony media goes there and get known and whatnot. I I, I remember our channel was there before. Man, I, I don't remember. Maybe no. I don't remember. It's been a while. So... They, they closed shop, I think. I don't think so. they're around. Uh, and my the MBS show is still going around. So, you can just see that a lot of good people have closed shop and start something new. Maybe they something that they enjoy a lot more. And, yeah, uh, I tried to with some of my other projects. And they haven't been really hitting hard like how this one is. And I'm very appreciative of you guys who, um, on a weekly basis, or try to on a weekly basis, come and just hang out with me, hearing me talk about this silly little show. Oh boy. Sorry, um, this is just really hitting me hard. <clears throat> so anyway, let's move on, let's move on. So... Hasbro replaced numerous My Little Pony voice actors without warning. What is going on? If you watch any of the non-English versions of yesterday's new episode, Icy Prince, you might have noticed something weird. Without any f fanfare, most of the voice actors have been completely replaced in the dub version of My Little Pony Tell Your Tales. The English voice actor remains, but for most other languages, this seems to be a sudden downgrade. I mean, that's not... Um, that's not really fair to say, Overcast. I mean, the uh, the replacement actors could have... Could do have talent. I mean, seeing a downgrade is very not fair. I, I haven't heard of the voices, but still, their actors... They got jobs, so they do good, probably. <clears throat> many dubs had had many dubs had had uh, production continu continuity since the start of My Little Pony: Friendship is Magic. So was uh, so this was completely unexpected. For example, Twilight Sparkle had been voiced in Latin America. Latin America Spanish by Carla Castillen de almost uh, co consist continuously from 2011 to 2023 and the dubbing studio uh, that group was responsible for the Latin American Spanish dub for the whole period that seems to be over now. Uh, it seems the original voice actors and 
voice directors weren't informed about this at all. Apparently, most of the new voices are so unfitting that there's been even some speculation that the voices might have been generated by a- Okay, now I see what you mean over cast. Okay, okay. Alright, okay, uh, we probably won't be able to confirm anything yet since the credits aren't available. The dubbing credits for My Little Pony Tell Your Tales are only shown on Netflix, which still only has the first 40 episodes of the show right now. The voice actors are not confirmed on, uh, credited on YouTube. Below are some of the statements of various crew who have been unknowingly replaced. So I'm gonna leave this part for you guys to read out and uh, from what I read it's pretty heartbreaking because uh, this actors they they took uh, they took time they molded their uh, voice characters well molded their voice to fit the character to sound similar to or close to the original English version and try to well represent the voice in I'm guessing this is um, Spanish so just just try to get as close as possible while being dubbed and to be honest uh, I watch anime dub because I don't want to focus too much energy on reading I know it's bad, but I got stuff to do. So anyway, um, carrying on. Yeah, this sucks. This really sucks because it's if this is just for a pay cut, just to save money. This is just the stupidest way to do it. And I get it company wants to save a buck by not paying actors the appropriate amount if i if actor a is being paid let's just say a hundred dollars and if actor b is willing to get paid for 50 the company might consider actor B instead. But if AI generated voice thingy is being used here, then that's even more crap because actor A and actor B won't get paid. <clears throat> yeah, but this 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 just sucks all around. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I, I heard about the AI uprising but and I, I never thought it was going to be this bad because uh, we heard about AI doing the AI art thing, um, Wizard of the Coast, and what was it? Uh, Waycom got caught, and even DeviantArt and whatnot, if I remember right. What, what, whatever. There, there's a lot of things. So, yeah, I thought that was bad. And I, I saw the art. They were interesting, but it was too clean. Whenever you see a AI art with especially humans doing like like just human art this 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 uncanny valley of this looks unnatural there's something off with this picture and i and am i guessing you guys know what i'm talking about here so <clears throat> with this 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 topic right now it's a bit disappointing it's a bit sad to see that Whoever is in charge of this is just not taking the effort to put effort into the project. <sighs> it's like just not doing doing things half ass. Yeah. I'm just disappointed all around. Okay, next news and last news is Giant My Little Pony Collection display. Oh, sorry. Giant, uh, Giant My Little Pony Collection on display in Vancouver. Yay! 
until the end of January. Oh, <coughs> almost soon. A massive pony collection is currently on display in the Cascade Park Community Library in Vancouver. I'm guessing Canada? The location includes ponies from older generations along with the floor and beyond. Apparently there are 343 in total and it's not even the complete collection. Oh, you can find the article below blah blah. So I, I check it out, a lot of words, I'm guessing, go, go read it on your time because it's long. So let's see what this person have here. <coughs> so I'm going to guess that the collection here needs to be official. They need to be an uh, official product from Hasbro or licensed by Hasbro to count in the collection because if it's a custom plushie made, any t is it, the number of three, what was it again? Uh, 344 is going to go way up. So let's, okay. From seeing this, let's go to the top. We see there's plushies. Um, G1 to G3 plushies. I, I think this uh, could be G3 plushie. So we, we see that and then we see uh, some G4 plushies. Uh, those could be one of the licensed ponies. Uh, the one next to them, uh, those those I don't remember. Could those be bus ponies where you can just play with the hair? Then you got white Celestia, pink Celestia. And going into the display case, you see a lot of G1 ponies. And I see down there there's G4. And oh, you got the sea ponies. Over here, see, see the see the ponies? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> then you got 3.5 on this end here. And I, I'm i guessing these are G1s, probably. Then you got G4, and so on. So these are pretty cool. This this is a pretty cool collection. Oh, you okay, uh, over here, you see, uh, this is the Fluttershy... Um, when she was a superhero thing uh, that's there o also for this one yeah oh this is a pretty nice collection y you got some Luna brushes and yeah this is a pretty fun collection I did notice oh um, that's who <sighs> Sia in her pony form I forgot what was her name Song Bird Serenade, I think. I did saw some G4, G5 ponies, here's one, but I think I saw one in display case here. Display case. Yeah, I, I think we, we see Zip here, and I think this is Twilight in new G5 uh, molding. Alright. But yeah, th this is a pretty impressive collection. We got no idea what this is, like, um, could be a poster, but I'm not sure. Um, some stuff here too. But yeah, this is a pretty, pretty nice collection. Like, this is pretty fun. So, yeah, if you are a fan and you live in the Vancouver area, Cascade Park Community Library. Okay, I want to check where this is. Wait, Cascade Park Community Library, Public Library, Vancouver, Washington? So this is in the States, not Canada? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so if you live in the States and live in Washington, I guess go there. Why, why, why would you not... If Seth? Did, did, mm. <laughs> that that is kind of Seth, that, that is that is something big man you you need to tell the people where it is the 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 
title of the post giant my little pony collection on display in vancouver is awesome but wish vancouver <laughs> and yeah granted if you go down to the news you read cascade park community library in vancouver i'm guessing that oh yeah I i'll google that and oh it's one in, in washington but if people don't want to google it oh gosh Seth, that's just so yeah, um, awesome collection if you are in the vicinity of Vancouver, Washington, I guess you should go there and go check it out. It's fun and you can probably take a closer look. Oh boy, Seth. <coughs> but anywho, whew, let's move on to the next topic and next topic is what have I been doing my week? So, my week has been pretty okay. A lot of work, a lot of thinking, you know, mo mostly thinking about the show. And I, I guess this sparks because of the recent um, YouTuber Exodus. Well, major YouTuber Exodus, like, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Matt Pat said he was 10 years or maybe 12, more, 16, I, I don't remember. And Tom Scott mentioned he was 10 years doing this on a grind, on a daily basis. So, uh, uh, for me, I'm just thinking, man, I, I love this. This, this, doing this is just fun. But I'm also thinking that this can be better. I, I want this to be better. I, I want to do a lot more. But at the same time too, if I put in more effort and it, the, the result doesn't, if the effort doesn't outweigh the, um, what you call this, reward, it's kind of a, I'm putting in so much effort for nothing. But I love doing it, so I'm I'm just gonna keep it at my own pace. Do what I can do, and just have a good time with it. I still enjoy doing the review show, and if you noticed the last uh, upload with the retrospective of 2023, that was a lot of fun. Uh, we we talk about other stuff than ponies because ponies have been going slow, but no problem. Uh, next upload is going to be about. And uh, the pony episode, so you guys can check that out. And soon ish, we are going to review another special something or a special movie with a special someone. You guys have to just wait because um, as I'm recording this news, the review recording hasn't been done yet, so gotta wait for that one, so yay. But yeah, <coughs> um, that's it for now let's wrap things up so if you guys have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at the um, good place to reach out if you want to chat up or if you want to do it on the website formerly known as twitter uh, my the show's twitter account is at the MBS show and my personal twitter account is at norman sanzo also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes and YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. Links are in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast and an exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, and also Mess Up Lag. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll, uh, <laughs> and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the Mies Show. See ya!